Hi everyone, Mrs. Zar, drawing flowers again. Today I want to go over how to do a rose, a full in bloom rose with many petals. I have a um, fake flower here to practice drawing from, but it's a very simple drawing, even if you don't have a rose um, to look at. So typically we start with a bit of a spiral shape for a center opening. And then we're gonna go around with these petal shapes. So I just start to um, open up some of the space by using this curved line, attaching. Now notice on my rose, the outer petals start to open up. We can do a couple of those to signify where the edges of this rose will be. They do fold over and create this flap as they start to get bigger. So that's very typical on live roses when you see them. The big part of the rose that we're gonna draw is um, for this drawing is going to be the coloring because it really makes the um, flower come alive. You can also include um, the stem with some of these um, serrated oval shape leaves. So now that I have this basic very basic pattern here. I want to go over coloring today with marker. Okay, so red rose. I'm going to take out the family of the reds, the pink, and maybe darken the edges a little with the purple. Okay. So I'm going to start with. Um, some of my lighter shade and value just so I know where my edges are. Um, we are gonna go over this again with the red and darken some edges with the purple. Now keep the edge of this consistent when you're coloring, color in the same direction, okay? Pink is kind of like our highlight color. Remember, I'm going around in the form of the rose. Curved, stay together. We're gonna layer the colors. I did not erase, but I'm okay with that. I can always outline detail after. Um, what we will do is maybe do some crayon highlighting and coloring on top. Okay, so now we're gonna go back in with the red. Now, because there's a, a line here between the pink and the red, I'm gonna go back over again with the pink just to blend it, okay? The markers can blend with a light color sometimes on top of a dark color because of the water base in it. These are water base markers, but also some of the permanent markers will also blend if they stay wet. Alcohol based markers are fantastic for this. Maybe just a tiny bit of purple, give it a little bit of an edge. We'll darken the color. Now this is gonna bleed through your paper. If you don't have a very thick paper, I'll show you on mine. It's gonna bleed through a little bit. It's blending, just try not to rub too hard, you will rip the paper. Okay, so I'm gonna just um, go back over with some of the red um, on top of the purple that I just did, just to bleed it a little bit. And then I'm gonna come back over and finish off some of the red edge and put the pink on top. Just 
very gentle. See, it blends a little bit. Some markers might not be as good as others. Just experiment with what you have. You can only leave a little white edge highlight. All right, I'm gonna go back over and do some highlights with um, some crayon on top just to give it dark edges in some of these areas. Let's just finish off coloring the stem and the leaf. So I'm gonna go from the darkest Blue is almost like an outline. This one has a slight point. You can try to use that tip for outlining. It also has these strong V-shaped veins. You can give evidence of that. I'm leaving a little space. I'm going to mix in this yellow on top, blend it a little bit. If you oversaturate, you may risk um, ripping the paper, so just be careful. All right, so. Okay, so I'm gonna just go back over with some crayon to finish. So there's one of my roses, very simple design, just overlap the leaves of the petals.